everybody, it's Sports Time. I'm Ricardo Lightborn. This one tonight goes out to uh, another Trisha Lightborn down there in Nassau. Your sisters, Mavis, Nola, Elsa, and Henrietta. They all love you and Dot here in Freeport. Son of Evans Academy Stingers will play in the finals of the Hugh Campbell Basketball Tournament tonight. The Stingers are on a mission, and it all started here in Grand Bahama. Let Megan Shepard tell you why. At the beginning of the basketball season, head coach Jay Philippe Bowley stated and predicted that he had the best high school basketball team on Grand Bahama and that they would prove it. Well, a few months later, and the Stingers are now back-to-back -back champions. Philippe says it's an amazing feeling. This year is even more special simply because we have 10 seniors on the basketball team this year. And we wanted to make sure that these guys finish off their careers in style. Shooting guard Brandon Meadows and point guard Tavares Marsh say after losing game two, they knew they had to step it up going into game three. Throughout the year, the two series we played, like we, we felt like we should have won both the first two games, but we came short and we said we had to pick up, pick up the pace in the last game. Throughout the season, we didn't win no tournaments and nothing like that. Like we always keep coming up short, keep coming up short, and coaches always teach, tell us, um, just know we can, we can end up putting it all together and we can come up with, with victorious. Senior and small forward Khalil Stallman playing a key role during the games said they fought hard for the title and it's a great feeling and accomplishment. The first game, uh, we won by ten and they bounced back and they got us by three in the second game. The third game I told the guys we had to come back, give it all we have, leave everything on the court and we went there and we did that and we came up with the win. Megan Shepard is set in S, Total Sports. Now the singer is going to play the CC Sweeting Cobras in the Hugh Campbell final set for nine o'clock uh, tip off. It's at the ZNS television radio network so make sure you guys stay with us for that. The 16th uh, G. Rutherford girls uh, Hoyt basketball tournament was also played on Sunday St. George's Gym. Bishop Michael Ellen uh, Junior girls uh, won. They defeated none other than Ann Freedom Baptist 23 to 17. Uh, 17 and Mia Moore is the MVP. In the senior finals was Doris Johnson, Lady Marlins with a 54, 51 to 48 win over CV Bethel. And Tina Boleg was named the MVP. Way to go, girls. Had a great time here in Grand Bahama. Well, let me tell you that the Crypto Track and Field Trials is just a couple of days away and Moore's Island athletes are looking to secure a spot on that Bahamas team. The Moore's Island Exterminators head track coach Reverend Anthony Williams on Grand Bahama for a few days with athlete Vernell McIntosh for speed work. With the Crypto Trials set for March 11th and 12th, it's crucial that they get the work in. Rodell is confident that his progress has simply enhanced his performances and the chances of making the Bahamas Crypto team. I feel at this juncture very confident and very successful at, at my time as running a 21 six, seven, six, seven, and looking to achieve more and looking to lower down my time in the 200. Coach Williams says the conditions for training in Moores Island is not ideal, but as athletes do the best with what they have. Stephen Gardner is a product of the Moores Island program, and it's time Coach Williams says that a facility that they've been promised be delivered. The kids are very positive um, in what we're trying to do. It's just that our setback is our sports facilities, you know, our track that was promised to us by the Prime Minister um, many, many, many years back um, since the election. Um, they have not yet delivered on that. Um, we had um, Dr. Danny Johnson and but Mr. Brave Davis and those was down to Moss Island um, practically a month ago and they told us everything is go ahead but um, nothing started yet with the track and they promised uh, to help with the dormitorium and nothing has started in those areas as yet and so we're still waiting and so that's why we have to now start to bring the kids down here um, to get them sharpened up so that they can be um, in good competition for the Carifta trials so they can make the team. Right on McIntosh would win the 200 and 400 meters of the Carifta trials and another diamond in the making from Moore's Island, Abaco. And just a note also, we're gonna have the high school nationals coming here to Grand Bahama sometime in April. They'll tell me when and then I'll tell you, okay? That's a look at sports.